What's up, Fit Lab? This is your wrist mobility flow. We have two different pieces of equipment. We're going to start off with our smashing. So we have our lacrosse ball. So this one's just easy and direct because you can see the outline of your muscle. You're just going to press in and then from there do one of those three techniques we talked about for our smashing. Um, and you can also come to the other side depending on where you're usually a little bit more sore. You can also use a barbell if you want to get a little bit more weight on there and not use your opposite hand. So one hand would go flat and that barbell would sit and then you use your hand to guide that barbell or rotate your wrist to find a new spot. Okay? So remember two to five minutes per arm there and then we're going to go into our stretch. So we have many different directions we can stretch our, our wrists and our forearms. So whichever one you have the most issue with. So if your finger is forward and you can't get to 90 degrees, we want to do fingers forward and we're just holding that stretch. You can do a single arm at a time here as well, but we can also do both and save some time. If it's rolling back, we can stretch there or we can flip over. Any one of those that you have limited, the most limited mobility in, let's focus on that one. Then with our activation, we're going to do that same direction and then engage our fingers. So if our fingers are forward, I'm going to lean forward, and then I'm going to grab the ground and squeeze with my fingers like I'm trying to make a fist, and then I'm going to relax them, come back out after five seconds, and then go back in for about another 10 second stretch. I'm going to keep doing that, activate, relax, for that two to five minutes.